This is the card I'll be showing you how to make. It's a really cute um, little note card here. And I am highlighting the paper florist dies here. Um, and be on the watch out because I'm planning to um, release a few more little tutorial videos on the different dies in the paper florist die um, set that um, we'll just share how to put together and make different looking um, flowers from the die set. So one of my absolute favorite aspects of this die set is that the dies that you need to make this flower or all the flowers really in the die set are all connected. So all you have to do is run it through once the die cutting machine and it will die cut all the flowers you need to make the one little flower here. Um, so that is one of the really cool things um, about this. Um, also along with this I'm using the um, masterfully made uh, 12 by 12 DSP and it's super colorful and I've absolutely loved working with it. Um, so that's that. Let's get started making our flower. So I've got some Poppy Parade here uh, cardstock and I've got my platform. So I've got my number one, number two, and number three plexiglass plate. Um, and then I've got some Poppy Parade cardstock along with my flower dies. And I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine, place my next plexiglass plate over that and run that through and when you finish you'll have your four fun little flowers here. Um, I suggest um, using a bone folder. So the first large, so you'll have two large and then two small. So the first large you're gonna take your bone folder and bend the flower petals down so that it looks like that. And then the next large flower petal, you're going to do, you're going to go up. So I guess you could go the same direction, more so, and then flip it this way so all the petals are facing up. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for the smaller ones. So one of them is going to go down, and then the other one... You can also go down and then we're going to flip it upside down so that we have this variated look of um, petals because all petals are crazy and go all different directions. Um, so take some Tombow and I'm just going to glue the center if I can get my Tombow to come out. Just give it a little tap. It's too early in the morning for it. It needs, it needs to be woken up here. <laughs> we'll get it working here in a second. Or I'll go grab another one. One second. Okay, I am back with some Tombow that is, that is awake and coming out. All right, so we're going to have our first petal facing down and our second petal with our petals facing up like so. And we're just going to offset the petals there. Now I'm going to add a dimensional on top of little mini one on top of those two large ones and this will create a little bit of height for this smaller petal for those petals to head downward so I'm just gonna offset that guy and then put a little Tombow on the back of this one and this top petal is are going to be headed upwards so that's kind of how I got that flower. Super easy, quick, just really quick out of the die cutting machine. Um, and then also I die cut a few of the leaves out of the lemon line twist. Um, so you can do that. And with this, I wanted to kind of give a fun little um, crinkle look because some of the DSP has got kind of a crinkled um, torin look that we're using. So I just took my two leaves and crumbled them up in a ball just to give some more texture um, and then carefully uncrunch wrinkled them like so. So they've got kind of like a crinkled fun look there. Um, I'm going to grab a 3x6 um, Whisper White piece of cardstock and when I fold that in half that will make your 3x3 little note card.
So I've also got two um, pieces that are one by three inch, and then also this lemon lime twist um, pack of the or part of the DSP, another one that's one by three inches. So I'm going to start with gluing the flowery parts. on the top, one on the top, and then we're also going to do one on the bottom. And I'm doing the top and bottom first, and then I'll lay the lemon lime twi twist piece on top. That way everything lines up exactly and is exactly even. I found that that was the easiest way to do that. Now I grabbed some of the Ribbon Duo Combo Pack in the Lemon Lime Twist, the 1 8 inch um, ribbon here. And I'm just going to tie a quick little knot up here just to add a little extra um, embellishment. Okay, so we have that. And then all we're going to do is add a little bit of Tombow. I just put some down the center of the um, leaf here and that way that will allow, allow me to bend and twist and move um, how I want. Um, and then I'm also going to add a dimensional to the back of my flower because I want to allow some space for these petals to curve. And I'm gonna add that down there and then take my second leaf here add a little bit of glue and then I'm going to just stick under, tuck under here and kind of bend around because I crinkled the um, leaf branch here. I can more easily move and maneuver and twist um, amongst the flower there. So that's that. And then one last little extra um, tidbit is I took some of the pearlized enamel effects in the basic black and I'm just going to put one big dot in the center and then a few little accenting dots around that one big dot there. And that just kind of finishes off your card um, in a nice little um, shiny little center there. And that's it. Super, super easy. I love how easy the um, paper florist dies are to die cut and put together. Um, and it's just one time through the die cutting machine. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to be releasing a few more videos like this one of little techniques of simple things that you can add to your card that um, will just make it pop and you can have fun doing it. Anyways, thanks for watching.